Go to the Oh, number I 14. I am 14. Okay. Review finding miscellaneous expenses barricade. Was that? Oh, this is the, this is Village Fort. I don't remember what that's. That's the barricade. <laughs> Thank you. So, can I um, can I tell you? I talked. We talked about this at the bin with bin, and no other. These are the barricades that are on the residential properties. So the driveways, the residential properties, not the street ones. And they had when this came out, the chief, the past chief, had required it. Um, but no other community does. And so Chris Schwartz, the manager at the time, this is what I was told from the bid, um, and Rebecca made an agreement, well, if, because we require it, no one else is, I'll put it in my man in the budget, like and we would pay for it. So we have a choice to either not pay for it and not require it, or not pay for it and make them do it. I think that I only bring this up because I'm un I'm under the opinion of my own personal Let's not require it. And, and I guess, Chief, if you want to. I thought when we discussed this this past year that the Chief was of the opinion that we should have them. Is that right? I don't remember the residential drivers. Well, my concern would be is if we haven't done it, mm -hmm. and if we don't do it, and we have an issue. Us. Um, <laughs> you know, have a good day. <laughs> but again, that's, I mean, it, it's a, it's a really board type of thing. I mean, you could not put them up and you'd be just fine. Um, you could put them up and you could still have an issue. Um, Are they, the bike race in general is, uh, there's a lot of moving parts to that. So I, I can't give you a definitive on that, on whether or not I think that those can go away. It's a lot of work for, I think, the DPW, too, to put them up. Are they in each driveway? I don't feel yeah, like every, so, okay. Along so the race route. Nobody else does, no other community does that. Wait, every single driveway? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was like, of every house? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're like, no. Why? Well, what's the benefit of that? These are professional cyclists. The cars are the right. The cars come out. The residents. It's, it's a visual life. reminder to them that there's a bike race going on. So everyone within that square, mm -hmm. which I, I'm not, in the square. Yeah, we're, yeah. But, but not no other. Everyone in the square, the driveways along the race route. Yeah. The idea is that if you back up, you're gonna hit a barricade before you hit a biker. Yeah. It's, right. It's pretty yeah. obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Being one has a driveway on it, it's pretty obvious that there's a bike race. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering why the other, we're, we're, we have Bayview, we have um, the other, what are the other toad race? Wauwatosa. Well, Wauwatosa, well, they don't, why? From our understanding, we're the only community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The issue is, if you've done something, um, so we don't have, it's like taking a stop sign away. It's like taking a stop sign away, so, no. But, okay. okay, you don't have to agree. <laughs> 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 you can let me finish. So, along that, if, um, Nathan is not here, so I don't know what our um, what the exposure to risk would be in the event that there was something. Are you saying that somebody could use um, the absence of a barricade after years and years and years of having a barricade as no fault, or to sue the village? I can't yeah. comment on that. I, I just would say that because we've been doing it, they're used to that, and if we don't do it, um, I, I will tell you there's an awful lot of traffic that we direct in and out of mm -hmm. the, the route, um, and it's nonstop because I would, I would, majority of comments that we get are not, you know, they want to get to their house, um, mm -hmm. and they're not pleased that it shut down and they were never notified. There's a good play notification, but they, they <laughs> were notified. So um, there's just a lot of moving parts. Um, right. I guess again, it's yes, we may be the only ones. I'm not. I can't give you. I'm not going to give you a definitive. I can't give you a definitive on uh, whether or not they're. they're for this, I can uh, tell you that the municipalities are for liability. If we're just strictly talking um, liability, we're capped at fifty thousand by the state. So it wouldn't matter. It would matter, I guess, up to fifty thousand, but. For liability purposes, we were kept at fifty thousand. What would the cost savings be on labor for the yeah, DPW? For DPW. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. 
good chunk of people come to ours. So and we do block off the road, is that correct? So mm -hmm. this is just the road and then the individual drivers? Well, like if you if your car like you didn't realize and your car was still in the driveway. Yeah. And uh, and the <coughs> started, but maybe they're all the way up there. So you just back out your driveway and then you're on the race course. So what does the barricade do? Do they get There's to back a barricade, out? There's a barricade. Like I just saying, really, my, you, you might move? say, why is my driveway barricaded? Right. If I can build it, I better you know, not drive yeah. over the barricade. So yeah. you're not allowed to back out of your driveway. Is it, right. you just say you can't move your car? Yeah, you okay. just think about it. <laughs> you're stuck there. You're stuck either in or out once the races start. But I guess you let in between the races, you can- Like inside, so it's like not on the track this isn't itself, track. but inside. inside. Right, so there's houses inside oh, yeah. that will let them yeah. cross the, the, the track. Right? Like, like in between, the in between the races, they can. Yeah, still so get in between in the, the races, yeah. they will, will let, but not on the track, not on the road itself. Does that make sense? Yeah. So there's roads within oh. the route, the race route. But you're only barricading on the race. That route. is correct. But we allow cars inside there to go to their homes and out, but not on the race road itself. Could we, could we take the, um, the funding issue, the budgetary issue separate from the policy issue? So we can vote on this um, cost tonight as far as whether it's in the budget or out of the budget. And then at a later date, we can take up whether we're going to, if that means we're not going to require it anymore, we are going to require it, and then it has to be yes. done a different way. Um, because I'm thinking, like, you know, maybe we could reduce it to a cone or something that would be less expensive anyway that everybody would find. So if you take it out effectively, if we just take it out of the budget right now, it's still a requirement of the bid. Right. And we can just take that up later. Yes. So they would still, we'd have to negotiate with them how they're going to pay for it or not require it. Those are the two options. And that would give us time to yes. say council and all that. Mm -hmm. So I would make a motion to to um, reduce that line item um, funding the barricades by twenty two hundred. Second. Any further discussion? I just hope this doesn't hold up. I'm going to vote yes, but I hope this doesn't hold up the bike races because it's a valuable thing to this. I'm, I'm oh, gonna, oh, I'm going to. They didn't no, say that. I don't feel like we'd like be the only one voting no. <laughs> We're okay. Back any other discussion? Let's, this is $2,200, you know, we should move on. Any, okay, all in favor, vote aye. 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 Opposed, nay. 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 Is that just me and mom? Come on, Tammy. All right. Pressure. Okay. Let's move to the next time. 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 Halloween. All right. All right. Let's do uh, this. Cancel Halloween this year. Also, Village Ford, review funding of July 4th community event. $5,000. And I believe that's the money we pay a consultant, correct, to like coordinate. And organize it, yes. It's a big undertaking. Yes. What did we talk about last time? It was more of they'd have to fundraise, right? For their, if they want to. Well, let me, yeah, yeah, let, me, let, me let me confirm that. Yeah, that's, that's not totally accurate. So the village in the past has had 7,500 reserved provided the uh, 4th of July. <clears throat> we'd get people to fundraise. And then in the end, whatever the difference was that we didn't fundraise, you know, that's what the village would, you know, contribute up to 7,500. So I think this year is a perfect example that if you take expenses, which are only expenses for uh, Sarah Denise's time to coordinate, and then, uh, and then of course all the bands and the fireworks and that. And then if you take all the fundraising, I think it was like thirty four hundred or something like that. That was the difference. So that ended up being the village commitment. So if you wanted to lower the Fourth of July commitment from seventy five hundred to five thousand. Is that five thousand now? Oh, is that five thousand now? Okay. <laughs> so if you wanted to lower from five thousand to nothing, that means the the village would have to, or we would have to fundraise for it all. Um, I think the other commitment that I made during the budget discussion was the village as a partner may want to provide some dollars because we're asking other businesses and other community partners to contribute. So you may want to consider some dollar amount 
uh, that the village was financially committed towards. Maybe yeah, it's two grand. Puts a lot into it, don't they do, but they get naming right. rights with that. And so we say the Shorewood Foundation presents the fourth of the Shorewood Fourth of July grade. I think we also talked about the wheelie guys retiring, and we could do without Elvis, and that brought it really down. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember I don't that. I think it's the, it's the marching bands that are the money. I don't think it's the wheelie guy. Yeah, well, the wheelie is like 200 bucks. Yeah. But the bands are over 1,000. So that puts in yeah. The bands are really bad. I mean, yeah. oh, does anyone want to make a motion? I, I, I personally am not in favor of this, but. I'll make a motion to lower the line item I swear it was seven, seven, you're sure it's 5,000 in the current budget? Well, it was for 2018, it was 7,500. I think when Mark and I talked, we lowered it to 5,000. Okay. So that's why it's five grand right now. You'll be able to see that on page 36 if you want to track your history. Well, actually, you wouldn't be able to see that. I know for sure 2018 was 7,500, but I bet we lowered it to five grand. Okay. So to lower it to 3,000. Second. Would five thousand to three thousand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any more discussion? Yeah, I'd be opposed. Yeah, I think this yeah. is one of the major events in the community. It really sets us apart. It, it, it's a lot of other people are putting a lot of resources into it. I think we need to contribute. To five thousand seems minimal. I, I agree, and I also with safety and everything else, and I just I'm not going to vote for this. I think we should leave it five thousand as well. I'm not, yeah, I'm not in favor of it. And um, that's why I'm going to vote no too, even though I said What are we going to put up against mom and apple pie? And, okay. Uh, so, all, all in favor of the motion, which would reduce from 5,000 to 3,000, say aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. 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 Okay. Um, failed? Six one. Already, um, review staff status of crossing guard MOU ad revenues. So this one, I believe, was uh, our cost for. So this is just half. Thirty-six eight seventy is just half, correct? Mm -hmm. Of this whole crossing guard contract. Mm -hmm. Correct. And that was with the potential premise that we would have in place an MOU with the school board during these budget deliberations, which I do not believe exists. No. Uh, yeah. Um, they've been otherwise occupied. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Does anyone? Uh, I, I mean, I personally have reservations about putting this in because we haven't. I know you guys met with Brian Davis and Parker. Did you bring this up? Yes, we did. So um, we actually brought it up as something to do in the next year. Oh, okay. um, and the, the reason that. Well, it's really odd because they would have to do it first because they adopt their budget in. 2019 in August, I think it is, or I can't remember what the date is, but it's different than our cycle. Yeah, they're, they're about six months off of our cycle. So my recommendation is, since we brought it up, since we're trying to schedule this joint meeting with both boards, which will bring it up again, if um, they seemed receptive, they seem they didn't, so, and I'm not misquoting you, so tell me if I'm saying this wrong, but they had no idea it cost that much money. They thought that was ridiculous and, and outrageous. And Peru was like, N-O, like that is just not right. And so they were, we talked about a couple of different ideas of like the lunchroom workers, not that that would work, but we were talking very briefly on, well, here are some things we could discuss. But anyway, they're aware of it and, um, and they are in, not in favor of that high contract, so. Yeah, but I'm sure they're in favor of crossing guards. Yeah, of course. I am too. Yeah, I would think so. Of course, so am I. Crossing guards and lifeguards, we kind of need them. So it would be fair to say this is for next next budget, this is going to be more of a... I don't know, Rebecca. For our next budget, for our 2020 budget. But I think the the goal, my, I guess my takeaway from the the meeting that I had mentioned is that, listen, you know, I think we all believe it's in everyone's best interest to have crossing guards. I think it's just a matter of, you know, can we act, can we split this cost? And I think, you know, to President Rosick's points, there's just, you know, when it's not in front of you and you're not taking action on it, sometimes, you know, it can be lost on what those dollars mean. So um, we just wanted to have some education and discussion on it with a joint meeting between both boards and have some conversation and go from there. And I think one of the main reasons why other communities do it, most of the communities have 50-50 split with the schools, and the reason they do that is so that they are buying into that contract. So they, are, and that's just like we're doing the 4th of July, and you know, same concept, if you don't have dollars into it, you have less 
It's not less investment into monitoring. So, so is the plan then for 2019 that they will be in, like even if we're paying the contract in full, that they will be involved in the process and in selection of the crossing guards? Because I feel like that's a big, the money piece aside just for a moment, like that's a big part of it. Right. Because the current crossing guard situation, yes. even with the new contract, I wouldn't say is that they hadn't they said they hadn't done any complaint they did not hear they're not being contacted they don't really know a lot about the contract so actually I, I think she, maybe did you get any contacted with complaints about the crossing guards um not on a regular basis um the ones that we do get contacted on we contact the company and have them try them switched out but um I will just tell you about the whole crossing guard thing. If we do use contracted services, they're pulling from the same pool of people. Mm -hmm. um, one of my suggestions, I think I briefly heard about it, was I, in other communities they're using uh, school staff um, to do that because they're on staff. They, you know, they have a little bit more buying into the community and the school. And that would be my. If you really want a more high quality crossing guard. Yeah. Um, I know that nobody wants to do it through 30 below zero or 90 degrees. That's probably the best, your best schools. Our best bet is to try to work with them to try to help facilitate, you know, using current school staff. Because um, if we have, there's emails that go around with um, chiefs, and we're all, we're all using the same service. Because we're all stuck kind of with what we have. Sure. What does Whitefish Bay use? Because they, this is just my own personal experience, but I drive like by Cumberland every day, mm -hmm. and they have like a couple really great crossing guards. Yep. Like, like grandparents. Yes, yeah. like they Hampton do. and yep. Ardmore and Hampton and Marlborough. Like they're they're just like nobody's on their phone. Yeah, There's, they've used. I think they're using their own like so it's like retired yeah. teachers. We retired asked people. Brian Davis. It was going that that was his assignment, right? Was mm -hmm. to look at other communities and come back. Mm -hmm. So hopefully at our joint meeting that will be, it is on the agenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So for this, um, if we took action on this, my understanding was, excuse me, it's a two-year contract at seventy thousand dollars or so. Excuse me. It would be status quo for the remainder of this year. And then this would be an impact on the second year of the contract. Do we? I thought we adopted it one, one year. We adopted one, one, yeah, because, oh, one. Because we asked them to have them for it and to talk to us, and right, they didn't. Did. So we just did it for one year. Yeah. So this. So if we took action on this, it would kind of be a unilateral yeah. um, decision without the school accepting. Right. Mm -hmm. The only thing I would I would think is. They just like the garbage that we just said, you know. So, but I wouldn't do it. You're correct. I wouldn't do that for until they have the budget discussion. So the only thing that I would recommend, if we were looking to reduce funding at all, would be for the that August. So you know, like once, so that when they t they can take action in their budget for half. So we would be reducing that amount for those three months by half. That's what I would recommend. So we could take a course. So yeah, I mean all the. So if they did this, it would be for the 1920 school year. Um, they just we're in the 1819 school year, so yes. next year they'll adopt for the 1920. So there would be three months in 19. So it would be a, we might Correct. you know we could take a quarter of this amount Correct. safely with because that would be September, October, November of 19. However, you know, we, have, we haven't really spoken to them, and I well, think it's kind of unilateral. And, well, yeah. I mean, you just had a meeting with the school board president. I mean, that, it has not come to the school board for discussion. All I'm saying is it's a financial matter. We either are going to pay the whole thing or not. Like, that's a village board. That has nothing to do with whether, I mean, I want to be collaborative, and we were, and, and I think we're heading that way, but I don't, in two, at the end of well, politically, it could be that the village of Sherwood decides not to fund crossing guards for three months, and then that's on us if mm -hmm. any accidents. And no, seriously. Um, I mean, I think we, I think we're all in agreement that we should discuss it with them. But given that they have not entered into their 1920 budget discussions yet, I mean, it would be unilateral for us to take it away. So, so, but, but yeah. okay. So, what if when they get to that budget season? 
then some if they don't have it if they don't then the union if they don't discuss it. it somebody has to go you know Rebecca's going to have to talk to Brian or you're going to have to talk to Peru or something and say this needs they, they don't they don't <coughs> adopt a budget like this you know they just have their general numbers and say I understand I'm just saying one of us is going to have to unilaterally decide. I mean, because one of us okay. is going to adopt the budget. Okay, and there's a couple of other things that we have to think about with crossing guards. These are low wage earners, earners here. So if we want high quality, if we want Cadillac here, we're going to have to pay more money than what we're talking about here. And we are, can't force the school to implement a policy based on, you know, who they use for their crossing guards. We can't, as a village, say you guys have to find a way to use your, you know, former teachers, retired teachers, et cetera. Well, Peru was like, uh, <coughs> didn't we used to do that as middle schoolers? We used to put the vests on and be our own crossing guards. I mean, they're not yeah, we, not we receptive. Lives, I'm just saying. Years well, that, I mean, There's I think no let's, let's focus on the question at hand, which is should we add revenue to our budget mm -hmm. relating to crossing guards, um, given that you know we don't have a contract, we only have a contract that's going to expire in June, I guess when school is over, and we haven't discussed it with the school board. So I'll ask, does anyone want to make a motion to include any portion of that revenue in our budget for next year? Can I just ask a question before I, I won't make a motion for that, if that's something that will work, but, but when would we do that? Like, what would be the cycle right. then? Right. Because yes. if it's, because it's still going to be mid-year then, yes. Well, my expectation would be is that if we come to some sort of cooperative agreement with the school that they would commence contributing funds um, mm. this time next year or you know in August September you know, pursuant to that agreement which would be relative to this budget windfall but then we'd have the you know the mutual agreement in place that we would budget for it in, in 20. So we would work on something up until their budget time, which is really Rebecca. You said they start. We don't. We don't. We're not going to have a contract. We're not going to have crossing guards for 1920. Okay, we have one year contract. So if they want crossing guards, they need to sit down with us and figure it out. Well, that's the same thing as what Trustee Blackhorse was saying. Even if we took away a third, you know, a quarter, we're not going to go without crossing guards. I mean, who's going to do that? I'm not sure what. What are you asking? How are we going to coordinate with the